So my best friend recently reminded me that I have a nemesis in the NBA. <laughs> um, there's a man who genuinely hates my guts in the NBA and I find it very, very funny. Um, so I wanna share the story of why this man hates me. And no, there's no and, I wanna share the story of why this man hates me. And before I start, hi, for those of you who are new here, my name is Shayna. I'm a journalist, uh, specifically in the food and travel sector. And I talk a lot about decentering men and child-free living on this platform. So if any of that sounds interesting, please like, share, subscribe. And if you are interested in my upcoming uh, writing masterclass, it's not live yet. I'm working on it. Life is just real, real busy right now. But um, if you're interested, please uh, stay tuned. I'll be posting info on that on the community page as it comes up and dropping some like info on videos, right? So anyway, uh, let's talk about why this man hates me. So in 2023, I was at the Aspen Food and Wine Classic as one of their journalists there to, you know, get to know people, get new stories, to reach back out to my editors. This is me trying to figure out what to do with my body. Um, but at this, at the Classic, which mind you, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Aspen Food and Wine Classic specifically, it's literally District 1 of the Hunger Games. It was overstimulus. It, it was it was too much stimuli. There was a, the multitude of every stimuli turned up to 10 in the, I felt like Katniss. Everything was so expensive. It was free for me because I was a journalist in the area, but it was just the opulence. I felt so, so uncomfortable. District 1, right? Didn't know what to do with my body here. Didn't know what to do with my body anywhere else. So this being said, I was also invited to a number of private events, uh, dinners, gatherings, whatever, to mix, mingle, you know, schmooze, get, gather story, whatever, right? And at one of these dinners, which was insane, by the way, insane uh there were a number of basketballers that were there um because there's a lot of people in basketball that are also in the wine industry i didn't know that until i got to that event so while i was there i noticed there was a couple of tall people i was like oh cool tall people short people 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 um i was always ridiculously underdressed <laughs> every event that I went to. It was my first time. Honestly, it was my first full year being a journalist at this caliber, right? I didn't know what to expect. So I was like, oh yeah, it's like a, a festival. No, Shana, it's not like a festival. Anyway, so I'm incredibly underdressed. I don't know anybody's name. I'm bad with names in general. Heaven help me if it's a famous person, right? So um, at one of these events, everybody's kind of like mixing, mingling. I'm trying to figure out where, who's, what, I see a bunch of ladies in gowns, I am in comfortable shoes, maybe a sweater, it's Aspen, it's the summer, it's Aspen, it's cold. So there's this guy who's with all the other talls, and I go and I'm like, hi, my name's Shayna, what's your name? He looks at me, he goes, and I go, my name's Shayna, what's your name? He tells me his name, I immediately forget it. I basically go, oh wow, that's so nice, so what do you do? I didn't know he's like a pro baller for the NBA. He just looked confused that I didn't immediately know who he was. And I was like, I guess he's not so good with words. So he goes to hang out with some people and I go, I'm trying to leave. And then I see Marcus Samuelson and I say, hey, Marcus. And he does not know who I am. I snap a quick picture with him uh, as Marcus is getting ready to turn all the way up. And then I go home, right? Home back to the, the hotel. Uh, time goes on. I would also just like to say very briefly, very briefly, uh, at the event that we were at, I, there was like an eight or nine course meal. Each course came with a very specific wine pairing. There were two James Beard award winning chefs, I wanna say, that cooperated in making that dinner. Uh, There's about 200-ish people that were invited, maybe 150. One of the courses was everybody got a half lobster. That lobster was delicious. But also you couldn't eat everything. There was no way for you to eat everything. And then we all got a little, hold up. You see this glass? That's my hand. You see this glass? That's a glass of cognac. You want to know how much that little bit of cognac was? $300. And this was just an extra, right? They were just like, oh yeah, please have some fun. This had nothing to do with the pair. I was, I had to turn off the numbers part of my brain because I, I didn't want to know. I, I After a point, I was like, I don't even want to know how much anything could potentially be, right? So just keep this in mind. I'm trying to keep my head above water, trying to comprehend what's going on. And there's a man that's uncomfortable that I don't know his name. Anyway, 
um, we're fast forward, right? So I am black. <laughs> so I get invited to a lot of the events that a lot of the other prominent black people are at, which is lovely. I got to see some familiar faces. Um, and he was also one of those faces, right? And he got, he, I would see his face <laughs> every time he would go to an event, another private event and see me. It was almost like a, I know we are not in the same circles. Like it was, it was a lot of that. And I just go, hey, I'm doing better. I don't remember what I would say, but I would always like greet him, would not remember his name. But I was like, oh, I recognize that look of disdain. It's fine. I'm not even going to lie. There's something about a man that from a safe distance, there's something about when I know I get under a man's skin. That just fuels me. It just, it's like a moisturizer, you know, but for the spirit. So uh, every time he would make that face, I would just, I just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it does something to me. So that just kind of continued and I didn't really speak to him again. I think I lightly asked somebody, hey, does he hate my guts? And at this point, mind you, everybody's drunk, everybody's plastered, except for me. Why? Because I'm, it was my first time at this kind of event. I had seen people, I saw people fall off buses. I saw people on the ground. I was like, this is insane. I thought this was the bougie event, but no, when you got money like that, you can black out anywhere. You'll be fine right so um yeah i was just like hey does he hate me and then people were like I mean, what? <laughs> what, what 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 i was like all right it, it doesn't matter um and then i reached out to my brother afterwards my older brother afterwards and i was like hey do you know this name and he was like wait this name and i was like I, I, it's something like that like it, it might rhyme with that he goes and he looks up the person's name and he shows me the the face and i was like that's him that's the guy that hates me my brother was so mad <laughs> he was so mad he was like shana he's so famous how could now mind you uh, one person that i know it's not i know it's not gabrielle union's husband I'ma find it. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. I know it's not Dwayne. Dwayne does not hate me. I don't think Dwayne knows I exist. Once again, more than fine. Um, but it was another one. It was another one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, every now and then, I don't think that he remembers. <laughs> There's a part of me that kind of hopes that when, if we run into the same circles again, he'll see my face. And then a part of his brain will go. <laughs> <laughs> but would I recognize him? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I would recognize the face that he makes, but his actual face, I don't think I would remember. And if you guys start like listing people in the comment section, I promise you, I don't. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna Google a man's name, so don't. But he's out there somewhere. And apart for a brief moment in time, he hated me. <laughs> and I just find it so funny. I also think that it's nice to know that I've elevated to a point where I could potentially have a famous nemesis. A nemesis. I think I'd like it. I say I would like a nemesis, but I'm a Libra. I'd like a nemesis for a vibe. Like, don't actually do anything to me. I'm very delicate. I will cry. But, yeah. Like, for that to be my first, like, nemesis moment... Yay, babe. Anyway, I just wanted to share that story. Um, if you have any thoughts, questions, if you have questions, I probably won't be able to answer them because I don't remember who this man is, but just wanted to put that out there. Um, yeah, Tiffany type your thoughts away in the comment section. I will respond to them as soon as I can. That is all for now, and bye-bye.